See, beloved means dearly or well-loved. So stop here for, with me for a minute. I am loved and you are loved and we are loved. We're not just thought of, not just forgiven. We're not just saved. We're not just protected, provided for, healed, or any of those other things, miraculous things and beautiful things that God has done for us. We are loved and we're not even just loved. We are well yes. loved. Because we, we can be loved and know that we're not being loved well, right? Like we all have a story to tell, all of us, because we are in a sinful place. But we can talk about people, whether it's parents or grandparents or somebody and along the way that somehow they harmed us. And we'll say, you know, I know they loved me best they could. He doesn't love any of us the best he can. We are well loved. Amen. We are rightly loved. We are fully loved. How often do we identify ourselves that way? How often do you sit down in your best moments and your worst and simply remind yourself, I am well loved? How often when that feeling of panic starts to burst up in your soul, do you push it back down and say, I may not know what's going to happen, but I know I am well loved. How often when worry decides it will be our middle of the night companion, do we turn to it and say, I might not sleep tonight, but it won't be because of you. It will because, be because I'm going to remind myself I'm well loved, I'm rightly loved, I'm fully loved. How often in the middle of the mundane, the boring, the disappointing, or even the unchanging, do we remind ourselves this has nothing to do with how well I am loved. Because God has demonstrated his love for me in this and continues. Notice in Romans 5.8, it doesn't say it past tense. Yeah. And it had happened years earlier when Paul was writing, but he doesn't say that God demonstrated his love. He said God demonstrates. Yeah. Which means that love is continually being demonstrated to you. It's on a loop. That, not that Jesus is dying again, but Jesus' death is so finished, so comprehensive, so full that it is continually yes. demonstrating Amen. his love for us. How often do we remind ourselves that we are well loved? How often do we remind ourselves that those around us are well loved? How often in our anger, frustration, hurt, or offense do we slow ourselves down and remind ourselves that our brothers and our sisters are well loved? Even those that are far from God are well loved because Jesus died for sinners. So his love is not waiting for repentance. His love is the reason we can even get to repentance. We are God's people because of his great mercy. And as God's people, we are well, we are dearly loved. We are his beloved, but we are also to be beloved to each other.